testing troubles. Tonight, Eight on Your Side is hearing from some viewers who can't get tested for COVID-19. We were there today as one of the Bay Area's biggest test sites open at Raymond James Stadium. Our investigator, Masa Saidi, is joining us live from the Tampa News Center. She covered that for us today. Masa, do we know how many people were able to get tested today? Keith, a lot of people at last check. The county said at least 160 people were tested at this site today. But tonight we are talking about a different group, the people who are sick right now at home and just cannot qualify for a test. The lines were long as one of the Bay Area's biggest test sites opened Wednesday. We saw people who didn't have an appointment get turned away. Meantime, <coughs> Nicole Talbot, sick and self-quarantined, tried to make an appointment by calling the county's hotline to get pre-screened. It didn't work. It feels like I have stuff in my lungs and my throat is still hurting and I'm still coughing. Did you tell them you have asthma? I did. I'm actually on Simbacore. I'm terrified. I don't know if I have it or not. For days now, Eight on Your Side has been digging into why more Floridians are not getting tested. Yes. We're looking at a test yes. kit. This is very flexible. Donna St. Louis is with BayCare, one of the hospitals working with the county to test patients at Raymond James Stadium. She told us the questions you can expect during that pre screening call. Are you immunocompromised? Are you over 65? Have you traveled internationally? Or have you been to one of the states that is a hotspot? If you say no to all of those, but if you have a cough and a fever, can you get a test? Yes. St. Louis says if you have a cough and fever, you will get tested. Healthcare workers are just as frustrated as you. Those on the front line say there's just not enough test kits. The hospitals are in desperate need, just like everyone's in desperate needs for kids. Today, we heard a different message about test kits from Governor Ron DeSantis. Everywhere has, quote, testing kits, uh, but what is in short supply is the collection swab to take the sample. Okay, so as we continue to report on this daily, it is clear there is a lack of supplies. Healthcare professionals are doing the best they can with what they have. Of course, we're going to stay on top of all the developments here. Live in the Tampa News Center, Muscle Saidi, 8 on your side.